Hello viewers, this is our second tutorial regarding Arduino. In our first tutorial, we discussed about obstacle evading robot. Now, in this tutorial, we are talking about SDT robot. Basically, these two robots are very much similar to each other. We just changed the position and location of our sensor and slightly changed our Arduino code. That's all. So, let's see the hardware. We used a simple chassis uh, where two DC motors and two attached wheel and a caster wheel. This is basically a polo, polo caster wheel. And we used a sonar sensor. The sonar sensor has four pins uh, one is ground, second is echo, and third is trigger, and fourth is VCC. Okay, now let's see uh, the connection of motor driver shield and Arduino. We already connect that so this is basically the connection between the motor shield with the Arduino Uno we used Arduino Uno version 3 you can power Arduino by several ways in our case we used a 9 volt battery to power up this is the 9 volt battery 9 volt to 50 milliampere uh, DC rechargeable battery and when our battery is uh, full charge mode uh, our robot is continuously run uh, about 10 minutes or more the charger of this battery is this one the charging time is more than 202 hours it's not actually it's a cheaper battery you can find it anywhere so let's talk about the connection between Arduino and the sensor as I told, uh, the sensor has four pins, echo, ground, trigger and VCC. The ground and VCC pins here, yellow and the uh, chocolate color one. So this basically connected the uh, ground and VCC and this portion, the echo and trigger pin is the main portion of this sensor. Uh, as we know, a sonar sensor transmits a sound wave and it receives itself and whether it receives a signal it generates a output and we get that output by 13 number pin basically this pin is declared as input uh, as we get input from the sensor and it is connected to the echo pin and the 12 number pin of Arduino is connected to the trigger pin we declared this pin as a input as we input some sort of voltage uh, to our sensor so that's it the sensor connection and now connect the motor shield into our Arduino Uno like this We are done. Okay, the connection between Arduino Uno and our DC motor driver is done, and we used one channel of this motor driver. Uh, here is another channel for DC motor driver. Uh, you can drive uh, servo as well. This is the servo channel. The caution part to build this robot first of all make sure the sensor got perfectly 5 volt and one last thing about this Arduino compatible motor shield as we used the Arduino compatible motor shield you must add a header to your Arduino code but our default Arduino software haven't any library for that so you have to add that library if motor library to your installation directory and you have to do that manually we will provide you that and let's talk about the working principle of it the working principle of it is pretty simple uh, whenever the sensor got any obstacle in front of it then our robot goes straight and when it haven't any obstacle in front of it then it simply turn right or left so guys let's upload our Arduino code 
which you are already on the board so just plug the USB cable to your PC and the next one is to your Arduino like that and then open your Arduino software and this is the Arduino FMoto library we will provide you that you need to you don't need to worry about that so let's compile this just click on it here done compiling and next click on it to upload the code into your Arduino and just uploading and done uploading just check it out done uploading and that's all and let's see how does our is deleting robot works okay guys that's all for today if you guys think this video is helped and inspired a little bit then please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel to get more videos and stay with us thank you okay thank you